We want to pat everybody in. We want to make everybody think they're okay. We want to be politically correct. And we want to put DR a period by our name, Dr. What, and you can't heal a cold. Everybody want to be a doctor, but don't nobody want to be saved. Let's go to the scripture, because we ain't, I feel like I need to birth this one. I'm going to church. What church is? It's just a social club now? Everybody tell me, I go to church. I go to this church. We got a good choir. We got a daycare. We got a gym. But ain't nobody saved. When I go to your church, ain't nothing walking around but punks and sisters and dykes. And you're begging for money every time I look around. You got an orphan tray coming around. I just can't pay my bills and you got an orphan tray. Get me saved. Get me to know God. And everybody now, you go to church, we want to take a phone, we want to pop the phone up, and this and that. Preacher want to get a tablet. Let the internet go out. What you going to preach then? We want to rent messes and stuff, pay, pay, pay for messes like God ain't talking no more. What are we following a man or a woman for that ain't hearing from God? That ain't living for God? I ain't going to no church with no sissy in the pool pit. I, ain't, I just ain't going to do it. I just ain't going to do it. I don't care what you say. You ain't going to make me do that one. Because the word said don't be a partake of another man wrongdoing. How you going to leave me? And you don't even know who you should be with. Galatians. Y'all know I'm, I, I come out the gate like this. You know, more people get in there and they do their homiletic, homiletic, homiletic. I ain't got that. I got Holy Ghost elected. And that's it. I'm through from that. If I give you anything else, you might mess you up. Galatians, the second chapter, beginning at the 19th verse. I used to read this before when I first got saved, before I started preaching. And, and God took me back to this. And it's, it's such a powerful scripture. It said, for, for I through the law am dead. He paid a price. He didn't come to condemn the law. He came to fulfill it. But listen to what he says. For through the law, I am dead. I am dead to the law that I might live unto God. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ live in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if the righteousness come by the law, then Christ died in vain. Oh, Heavenly Father in Jesus. God, I say right now, I don't know how you're going to do this, but God, have your way. God, I'm yielding and waiting on your direction. God, right now, I know in my eyes that I can see what the money spirit that has came in here. I know in my ears that I can hear directly from you. But most of all, I know in my mouth that I will say nothing to myself, God. But oh, that you give me this say. God, but you're serving that something else to you. That you anoint your people here. That the way they came is, God, they won't lead that way. God, because you said in your word to be you lifted up from the earth, you'll draw all men. God, I come to lift up the name that is above every name. And that name is Jesus. God, I say right now, have your way in this place. And God, if ever you give the praise, we'll give you the thanks. In your son Jesus' name we pray. And every heart can say, amen, amen. And you're going to have your seat. Christ, Christ. So many times we will talk about Christ and him being crucified. And we talk about the cross. And we don't know how valuable, valuable the cross is. And today's message for you all is the cross. Your life must cross Christ's life. Your life must cross Christ's life. Should Jesus bear the cross alone? Do y'all know everything that God did was in the cross? And Pastor preached uh, uh, Friday night. He done it all. On the cross, Christ did it all. Y'all see this? Christ's life. 
When Christ went across, went up on the cross, he stretched out. He was a cross. His life was a cross. But here does Christ's life went on the cross. Did yours go? Did yours? Galatians said, I was crucified with Christ. But what we do, here is us. You see this? Your life. Your life. Can't make no cross in your hand. We walk around with our life in our hand and go to church. We pimp around and act like we with God and tell I'm on the cross, but we walk around in there. There ain't no cross without us on there. That's Christ on the cross. It's Christ's life. But we got our life in our hand. All us in him. If you ain't gave your life ain't cross Christ's life, your life is no good. Come in, Deacon McGee. We walk around with our life. God said, do this. No. We get up and get down off the cross when we want to. We be saved when we want to. We do good by a month, but then we take it down our life. Your life. How many of our lives don't cross Christ's life? Or how many of our lives still we got in our hand? We do what we want to, go where we want to, hold where we want to, cuss when we want to, spend money when we talk, want to, don't pay time, want to, don't love when we want to, but then we want to be right. Plank him up there. I put my life back on the cross. I put my life back on the cross, and now I'm saved. I live for God. When I come to church, I'm on the cross. I am crucified with Christ only when I'm at church. I'm crucified with Christ when I'm around the church member. I'm on the cross with Jesus as long as I'm at church. But when I go on the whole around, take me back down. I get off the cross. I go do me, but I leave him on the cross. I leave him when I go smoke. I leave him when I go drink. I leave him when I hold on. I do whatever I want to do. But the cross is your victory. Amen. Let me give you your victory. This is our problem. Our victory in Christ, but we get down off the cross. When you get down off the cross, your focus is works. Because when I go to church, I'm working. When I do a good deed, I'm working. Your focus is on your work and what you're doing. Your object is performance. And that's what's wrong with the church. We are being defeated by work and performance. That's all the church wants to do is perform. We got the best choir. Didn't you hear how they sing? Didn't you hear our musicians? Performer. Our power source is self. That's why we always get down. We get down because we don't want to be identified as being on the cross and crucified with Christ. But he told you to deny yourself. He, in other words, he told you to die. But because I like me, my results is failure. But when I want victory, get back on the cross, D. Everything changed when I want the victory. What you mean, Apostle Simmel? What do, what do you mean it changed? My focus. That's good enough, D. My focus. Now, I want you to go nowhere. My focus is Jesus Christ. See, when your focus is Jesus Christ, you stay on the cross. You don't try to deviate. You don't try to do wrong. It's only when your focus is on work and performance. But see, the victory is on the cross. You remember what the thief told Jesus? He said, one said, if you heal the son, get us down. That's what we said when we be having the cross down our hand. Because all we want to do is get free. God, if you get me out of this, we talk to God then. But we still got the cross in our hand. But the other thief said, remember me when I come into our paradise. We can't say that now. I just said, remember me, Lord. Because he already in paradise. But look what it says. It said, my focus is Jesus Christ. My object of faith is the cross of Christ. 
That's when you want the victory. My power source is the Holy Spirit. They don't even talk about the Holy Spirit in the church now because everything's saving and drop a tear in church, we think they say in total Bible. The devil do that. The cross until your life crosses Christ's life. You can't carry your cross. You're going to sit around and keep going to church just like we do. That's why we wonder why we fail so much. Because we won't be born again. We won't let, we won't let that be our power. Listen what it says. The power is the spirit. But the result is victory. But every time you get up and get down, take me down, D, take me down. You know how y'all want to be. Y'all want to come down. It said, take me down, take me down. We come down, and that's when we start missing church. You know, a lot of times we miss church. Because we start telling self, I ain't got to be there. And you know what God did? He didn't take man will. He gave you this, to put up and to put down. Just don't get caught in the wrong place. Christ's life, he gonna stay on the cross. He the redeemer of every man. Oh yeah, and that's why Galatia Paul was saying, he said, for though the law, I am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. He said, I'm dead to the law. But now it's Christ. So now I got to identify. Put the mic up there, D. And you can, you can have it. This is what it said. Christ's life. Because we knew he was that way. But it's on. It's us. We connect to be who he wants us to be. Christ's life must cross your life. If it ain't cross your life, that's why we in failure. Think about you. When you first got saved, you got up on the call, couldn't, be, couldn't nobody get you to do nothing wrong. But now, since you have access to take down and to put up. That's why I wore white. Because the cross gave me a right to be pure. The cross gave me a right to wear purple, to be royalty. No matter how y'all look at me, I'm pure and I'm royalty of Christ. Why? Because the cross has gave me the victory. What else? What else do he need to do? What else do he need to do? He come back and tell you, the church, the church, the church. We talking about us. We supposed to be the church. Being the call out one. We supposed to be different. But we switch up and make excuses for our wrongdoing. Rather than accepting, I'm wrong. He just said, ah, oh, it's okay. This is what he said. In Galatians 2 and 16, he said, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. He's telling you that it's not the works of the law. The victory is in the cross, what Jesus has already done. And now the church is saying, well, since Christ has died, we can continue in sin. But Romans 6 and 1 says, should we continue to sin that grace abound? It said, God forbid, because grace was in the cross. And he died that you should die. But we don't want to die because we still love this flesh. Because the flesh calls for other stuff than call for what God wants. And that's why when the flesh starts craving for a man, we get down off the cross because we said, you know, God made man for woman. But he also said the cross and let him be married. So he said, telling you, you can't just give this away because you've been bought with the price. See, that's why I'm talking about, and that's what we try to say. Oh, you don't understand. You don't understand, I feel. The crucifixion that we talking about the crow, it's a, it's a form of slow and painful execution in which the victim is tied or nailed to, the, to a large cross and left to hang unto death. It took three nails and a cross to give me forgiveness. It took three nails to nail him and the cross to forgive me. We forgave him, but we still get down because we still want to be forgiven again. He's not dying again, y'all. He's not dying again. That's what God said. He said, knowing that the, a man is not justified by the works of the law. I told you, the defeat is works. Your focus is what I can do for the church and how I can do it, not being the church. My performance is how good I am in church, but not how good I am to God. This is what he said. He said, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith 
of Jesus Christ. And we keep talking about the law. But you're not justified by the law, by the works of the law. It's said by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by faith in Christ and faith in the cross. Not faith in me. Not faith in what I do. Not faith if I give a bullock. Not faith if I give my tithe. But faith if I present my body to God a living sacrifice. I am a sacrifice because I was bought with the price. I have yet to see a slave tell his master what he's going to do. You know they said Mr. Joe, Mr. John, Mr. Frank, uh, Miss Mary. They don't talk back to the master, but we talk back to the master because we get down. We tell God, I ain't going to do this. You tell the preacher that I let him, whatever. I don't believe all the Bible. But we say we say. Why do believers that don't believe all the Bible want to go to heaven? I ain't figured that out yet. Why do, why do we believe in all the promise of God, but we don't believe the wrath of God? We believe that's a heaven, but the same Bible got hell in it, but we don't believe it. But let me tell you about hell. It's hot, eternal, low, and lonely. You're going to be there in your homeboys and your friends and, them, and all them that you was pranking that thing with. All them jokers that didn't want to be saved, they're going to hang out with you right there. You're going to still be able to smoke it as you want to, drink it. And the devil going to say, I fool all of y'all. Y'all could have been in paradise, could have been walking on streets of gold, but y'all were diamonds to follow me. Just dumb, just dumb, just dumb. And God said, look, he said, tell they all messed up. But you know, the Bible tells us, we don't read it, but I got it for you. In Hebrews 9, 27, it said, and as is the point unto man wants to die. The point of you want to die, you can get the victory by staying up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My daddy, I was going tell him, he said, boy, don't let you. Don't let me catch you with your pants down. Don't let God catch you with your pants down. I'm going to bring it to y'all turn. Don't let him catch you with your pants down. You know that time when you off the cross? Because he the one don't never sleep no summer. I'm going to bed by 7, 30, 8. I'm trying to get my beauty rest that I can stay alive a little longer. See, y'all like out there in the world and doing stuff because he, uh, 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 we love, he said, men love darkness because their deeds are darkness. So they love traveling at night when they think, the preacher sleep. Well, now not all preachers, because some people be traveling with them. So what I'm saying is, uh, not everybody, but when we get down because we try to creep, then we lie. I don't care if it's a pink one. You can, you can color whatever you want. He said, all liars won't have the victory. We deal with truth. The you. How many of y'all came here off this cross this morning? How many of y'all came in here one on the cross? We came to church, but we weren't on the cross. Oh huh? We, we, when you got to respect a person, you ain't on the cross. When you ain't living right, you ain't on the cross. See, we try to make that thing right, and we try to excuse it for who paid the most tithe. Stick your ties up in your butt and get up out the church. Oh, we ain't talking about no tithe. We talking about being on the cross. We ain't talking about you giving me no money. We talking about you being pure with God. We talking about you being royal with God. We talking about you presenting your body as a living sacrifice. We don't want no bulldog no more. He's the ultimate sacrifice. He don't want no goats no more. He don't want you waving your hand. And you ain't right. You know, because a lot of times they be crying in church, they be crying because of what they did the night before. Dog ain't mean to tell on nobody. He said, but listen how God said in the Hebrew 9, 27. He said, and it is appointed unto man once to die. But after this, the, the, the judgment. He said, after you die, I'm going to have all records of every time you got down off the cross. I'm going to have records of everything about you. But it's a point on the man wants to die. You might as well go and die now. You might as well go and die to your desire. Because God said, I gave man a will, but I ain't give a dog a will. But I gave man a will. But dogs still obey him. I ain't give the sea a will, but the sea still obey me. But I gave man in my image and my likeness. But I gave them the will to love me because I'm God. He, I gave them a the will because I thought they'd love me because I died for them. But y'all don't love him. Y'all love other men. <laughs> y'all don't love him. 
<laughs> Y'all love stuff and things. Listen how God said. He said in, uh, in Hebrews 6 and 19. Say, I ain't got nothing I'm saying. I'm giving you what the word said. In 6 and 19, he said, which are, he said, which hope we have an anchor of our soul. Is your soul anchored in Jesus? Because he said, if your soul ain't anchored in Jesus, it'll soon. If your soul ain't anchored in Jesus. Yeah. You know, I eat a mite. It'll soon drift away. And you still going to church telling yourself that I'm still saved. You know, I felt the anointing. Baby, that was the air condition. That wasn't the anointing. Then, you know, all oh, the preachers touched me. They laid hands on me. Can't nobody lay hands on you and transport God's spirit. He told Jesus. Jesus told him, said, look, it ain't mine to give. So how all these people talking about, oh, let me lay hands on you. Y'all just love to be fooled. I'm going to lay hands on you. I'm going to transport my spirit. Pop, they slapped you. You still get off the cross. So they, they must have transferred their spirit, but it was the wrong spirit. You still got off the cross and they laid hands on you. You should have said, you got to be a false prophet. I don't know who you were, but you made me want to do that crazy stuff more. That's all we want to run to is a prophet. The prophet in the house. The prophet. Here they are playing all these people, all this money to come here and to sing. We're trying to sing our way out of it. And here the homosexual don't took over the, the country. And the church sitting there coming, well, you know, if that's where they want to be, that's it. Y'all made them. Got been there to Johnny everywhere playing. Every time I look around, he all over the church. And all them preachers grazing in the pulpit like he all right. Half back down there, back bigger than mine. Then he ugly. They want to get mad at me. You shouldn't be talking about him. He shouldn't be a sister. And he shouldn't be making a marker of God in God's house on the keyboard. I don't care if don't nobody like me. Lay hands on myself. I don't know where y'all hands be. God is trying to tell us that we got to come out of this stuff. We plan with him too much. He said, which have an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enter into that within the veil. Jesus, all that I need. Why do we act like we need something else? He can give you a man, the right man, but we don't want to stay on the cross. Every time I try to help him, every time I try to work out and do something for him, I mess up. Have y'all ever figured that out? When you're talking about, well, well, let me help God. What we do? God need help. He created you. But see, this, this new modern day church, touch five people. The modern day church, the, the church now. Ain't nobody got to get saved no more. Just touch three people and you'll be blessed. Shoot, I've been touching y'all all day and you ain't nothing happen. Touch what? Three people. You won't be talking about the whole church. Because I got to find out who right in here. Because we take ourselves down. I'm telling y'all, we got to stay on the cross. It's victory in the cross, y'all. He said, you know, and we will crucify Christ afresh. Why? Because we sin. You know you don't got down. You ain't going to crucify Christ while you're on that cross. While you're in that world, you ain't going to crucify Christ. Now, you get to your little nasty self and start leaning to your own understanding and talking about, I'm lonely. You know the TV? Y'all don't see the TV? Even the light bread gate. Y'all ain't looked at it. The light bread is trying to have sex. Oh, y'all don't look at TV then. Y'all looking at uh, YouTube and uh, all the other stuff. Y'all know they on there too. But I'm talking about everything having sex on TV now. You got three women in there. They shaving. Got three little bush in front of them. And they, you know, they put your mind somewhere. Y'all ain't seen that. Eh? Y'all ain't seen the little gay people on the cartoons and stuff. And then your children watching the cartoon. But we allowing this to happen because we still trying to build a gym, daycare, 
restaurant and all that. And the people going straight to hell from church. Because if we won't preach, we won't preach. Look at that Paul said it. He said in the 20 verse, uh, uh, Galatians 2 and 20, he said, I am. See, Paul made this thing personal because he, he can say all us have. Paul said, I am. That's what I'm saying today. I am crucified with Christ. Can y'all really read? Could you really say, I am crucified with Christ? Or could you say, Apostle is crucified with Christ? Now, y'all can't say I am and y'all weak as peanut butter. No me talking about y'all I am because in order to be with Christ, you got to suffer. And some of us, all we got to do is get a cold and we'll miss church for about four weeks. Don't be telling me you crucified with Christ now because I'll, I'll get in your business. You know, and listen to what he said. He said, look here. He said, I am crucified with Christ. He said, I'm crucified with Christ, not crucified with Terry. I'm not crucified with Cornerstone. I'm crucified with Christ. See, a lot of times we go to church, we say, I'm going to heaven because I go to this church. You can't go to heaven going to heaven. You got to be crucified with Christ. It ain't the church you go to. It's what they're giving you. And if they're giving you a happy meal, you know, like you get a happy meal and you get the tar, you know. I used to win take girl to restaurants because I had, I had a little too much going on. So I might would take them by McDonald's, but I still try to get the toy. Y'all don't understand that, do? A man will take you to the restaurant all he wants, baby. He's just trying to get the toy. Huh? It ain't that he loves you because he took you to win them. She win the wreck. That was tough, baby. You know, when you when you with a a player, you'll be glad to go anywhere because he ain't taking you many places. This is what he said. He said, "See, you took me there." He said, "I am crucified with Christ." Nevertheless, you hear what he said? Nevertheless, he's telling us something. He said, "Now you break it down." Now I know y'all ain't never broke it down. Like, it said, "Nevertheless." In other words, it's it's three words in one. But he just went on and broke it down. He said, "Nevertheless." He ain't said, "Nevertheless." He said, "Nevertheless." See, he's trying to tell us something. I live. Well, how you live, Paul? All right now. You already been crucified with Christ. He's telling you, my victory is in the cross. And everybody's trying to say, well, he's a healer. Baby, he was a healer back in 53. He was being prophesied back there that he was going to be a healer. But if he wouldn't have died, it wasn't no healing. And a lot of times we say, well, I'm up under the blood. Well, let me tell you, he couldn't be the blood unless the word became flesh and got on the cross. If he didn't get on the cross, there was no blood. So the blood really is the word. Huh? Your grace, your healing is the word. And we try our prosperity is the word. But we don't want to do the word. We just want to receive the promise. When you going to get on the cross, y'all? When y'all going to stay up there? That might be the question I need to ask. Yeah. My God. He said, but in Luke 11 and 20, he said, but he said, Ye rather bless a day that hears the word of God and keep it. See, everybody here. How many of us going to get on the cross and stay now? He said, Apostle, how you going to get that to, to stay out there? I said, God gave me the vision how to make this. And he was the wood man. I'm like, it's going to stay. You're going to cut out two slots and it's going to slide on snow. But the only thing about it, God gave us access. He, you better come get it. Because I've been on tour it up. He said he gave us access to do our will, though. You know what's so good about God? Israel said God wasn't equal. But God said they weren't equal. Ain't God gave us, look how he good him. If I do wrong, I can go back on it. But I also got you access, I ain't going to force you to stay on him. Because he gave you a W-I-L-L. That means it's your decision. So what decision have we been making? What decision have we been making? Your life must cross his life. Must. And this is what it said. It, can't, it ain't no good to cross sometime because he tell you in Luke 9, 62, and Jesus said unto him, no man has put his hand to the plow and look back and fit for the kingdom. You can't get on the cross and get off because then you're not fit. Anybody in the house not I know y'all ain't gonna raise y'all hand on that because y'all meditate. But y'all know y'all ain't on that. 
Your life is hidden in your hand, not in Christ's hand. You know how I know? Because if your hand would have been and it was touching you so much, you wouldn't be looking like you look. This is what he said. He said, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I. That means I had to die. Paul realized that I had to die. How many of us are here dead? I'm talking to the flesh. How many of us dead? How many are dead? Ain't nobody saying nothing. Huh? Ain't, ain't nobody looking like they dead. Look at Ephesians 4, Ephesians 2, 4 and 6. It said, but God. See, when, when I was yet in sin, it said, but God. Couldn't nobody do it but God. See, I'm talking about the victories on the cross. He said, but God, who is rich in mercy. He had mercy with me when I was a sinner. He had mercy for you when you getting up and down. He having mercy for you. And we don't understand. We trying to pimp grace. But grace is on the cross. If you ain't on the cross, you ain't got grace. You might have rental insurance. Which is mercy. But you ain't got grace. It's grace and truth. When you step down off the cross, grace is gone. You don't tap into mercy. God have mercy. God have mercy. God have mercy. That's what you say when you're off the cross. God have mercy. Because grace ain't there. They fooling you. This is what he said. He said, but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us. See, he died because he loved us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him. But it is said, stop believing. The cross, your life, yeah. must cross his life. This is what he said. He said, even when we were dead in sin, he quickened us together with Christ. When he got on the cross and died, he quickened us, like shocked us. Like you was walking. When he died, in other words, quickened me, he made us alive to realize how far we was from God. He quickened us. All of a sudden, I went to church to a wedding and he I ain't been to a club since he quickened me. And now people go to church. He said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. And everybody in the church is still the same old creature, even the preacher. But they said he quickened me. They said, but God. You, you, you telling me this God that got all power can't, can't control you? Are he ain't enough for you to change for? Because he don't want you to be a robot and move by him. You know what I'm lit. That was the devil do with you. Come on, baby. God don't want that. God want a man that said, a new man. He become rod. And no more people say, our terror ain't nothing. Yeah, I'm the same ugly man y'all may call ugly, whatever. But on the inside, I'm new. That's why I don't, that's why I don't sit in bed for money. That's why I don't write no note down to try to tell you what I think. I don't try to get no mess off the internet. He said, across the cross, the cross. He said, have quickened us together. You know what he said? He said, quicken us. He ain't quicken just me. Paul said it wasn't just me. He quicken us. Anybody that want to be on the cross, he'll quicken you. He'll give you a new life. He said, by grace, or you say, it's his cross. Anybody here that ain't saved, put him on the cross today. D, you can get on the cross today. Put the cross back on there. Don't hold it too long. Now you might, you might change your mind. That's good enough. You can get on the cross today. Because he didn't think about what you did. He didn't think about what you did, how you did it. You know, I was off the cross. I was living wrong. I ain't always had it right. And then no mess up sometimes since I've been right. But I got back on the cross. I said, God, I see where I messed up at. I ain't going to mess up that no more. God, I remember. But I don't want to play with you. I don't want to play with you, God. He said, your life. Oh, he said, 
Bring your life to me. And what we try to do, this, this is the way the devil gives us. Time. He fooled all us young people. I got time. But it's a point on the man wants to die. You think all these young people that have been dying, you think they had time to? Yeah, they had time. It just ran out. Because they couldn't keep asking for mercy. He said, no. They heard my word. That's where it's going to get us at. All of us don't heard the word. This is what he said. He said, by grace you are saved. And has risen us up together. And made us sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Boy, y'all know that song. As far as he quickened me, he set me up in heavenly places with Jesus and God. I'm already in heavenly places because I'm going to stay on the cross. See, I ain't getting down the cross. He made me sit in heavenly places. See, people waiting to get to heaven because they ain't read that scripture. My spirit man, because I have already received him, is already sitting in heavenly places. That's why I tell people, I ain't waiting on God to say when I get to heaven, well done, my good and faithful servant. Why y'all waiting till y'all get there? I want them to say right now, I want churches and preachers to understand that I am the real deal. I am God MVP. I'm his most valuable preacher because I'm not preaching for money. I'm preaching for the lost soul that don't know God. Got no time to be coming here talking about Bill and nothing. He said in, in John 1 and 14, he said the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. The glory of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. You hear what he said? Full of grace and truth. If you ain't on the cross you don't have grace. I know they've been fooling y'all. I know they've been fooling y'all. You got mercy. Because you have not accepted the only begotten. That's what God trying to tell you. He's trying to tell us something. And the God gave he's so much power, man. In Colossians 3 and 1 and 3, he said, And if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things that which are above. See, we got people that say they were Christ still seeking the things of the earth. He told you. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of God, it's of the world. But what we looking at? Boy, when I get my new car, <laughs> child, when I get my right hub, he said, things on the bull. Your hub is not of a bull. The right wife, the right job. You know we quickly said, I'm going to start paying time when I get making enough money. Now let me tell you that, I already know you off the cross. And the reason why you off the cross, because he said, will a man rob God? A man on the cross ain't going to steal from God. He ain't going to rob God. He said, but look, when you rob God, he said, you'll be cursed with a curse. Sometimes we wonder why we being cursed, because we'll try to say, man, I ain't paying, no, I ain't paying God that, that amount of money right there. No, I had to get God next week. I got to pay my bill. Will a man rob God? Yeah, they'll rob you, God. They'll rob me, too. They won't just rob you. They'll rob me. The cross. It's where the victory is. And the church don't forget about the cross. Y'all hear that? They don't, that? That's why y'all can sing that song. Ball with a price. Y'all can sing that. He paid for you, but you resold yourself. That's why he had Jose to deal with Gomer. He said, Jose. I want you to feel how I feel. He said, marry Gomer. Gomer was a prostitute. He had a, a prophet had to marry a prostitute. And every time she went to horn after other things. In other words, we were connected with Jesus on the cross, but we tried to make a deal. The prostitute Gomer used to leave Jose because she wanted to shake some. We lead Jesus. We take our life back. We talking about the church in 2015. We ain't preaching God to be saved. We ain't preaching the people to be delivered. We preaching the people to bring money in the church. We don't care if they this or that. We just really don't care. 
long as they bring us some money, we don't care. We don't care if the deacon scratching his hand. We don't care if the preacher says it. We don't care about nothing. All we want to do is say our church got a gym, and we got our church seat 2,000, and we got a daycare over here, and you're having heaven on earth. That's why people don't come here. Because they don't really want to be saved. You ain't going to find nobody on the cross scared of the word. But I'm finding out that in Pensacola, they are scared of the word. And then what's bad about it, they won't even allow me to preach nowhere. So what's different about me? I'm coming out the book. <laughs> I'm out the book. What's wrong? What's wrong with y'all? I know it's wrong. A bunch of y'all is a bunch of crooks. And y'all don't know what God might give me to say, because I'm going to say that he give me. This is how God said it. He telling him, he said, if you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, which Christ sitting on the right hand of God. Huh? Set your affection on things above and not on things on the earth. Y'all hear that? And listen to what it said. For you are dead. Huh? That's the way you want to get on the cross. You are dead and your life is hidden with Christ and God, which Christ, who is our life. Now, is he your life? Let them lean right here, because I don't think they want to get on the cross right now. I think they, I think they like being all. So we're going to let Christ stay on the cross alone. We're going to let Christ just, just be there because of our self. Huh? It's a is our life shall appear then. Shall you also appear with him in glory? If we gonna appear with him in glory, or are we gonna keep doing what we do? He said, that I might live unto God. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless yet I live. Yet not I, but Christ live in me. Uh-oh. Is Christ living in us? I ain't going to ask y'all to raise your hand because I know one thing about this ministry, we don't mind lying. So I ain't going to ask y'all that because I know I'm going to help y'all lie. But is Christ really living inside you? Why are you being nasty? He quickened me that I can be nasty no more. He quickened me that I can have a respectable person. He quickened me that I can't hold a seat for effort. I can't hold a seat for you to get there. Well, I'm going to hold a seat for you to get there. You should have got there early. But we do stuff that God said, that's not what I want. A person can't give you money, you, you look at them down. But a person you think can give you something, you lock them up. A homeless man can go to heaven. But a rich man is hard. And some of us are hard because we're looking at how we look. We're looking at what we're trying to gain. We're going to leave Christ on the cross alone? I'm talking to this house. Oh, we're going to leave him on the cross alone because we've been fumbling around for a long time. We've been getting the truth and still getting off the cross. Because I know how y'all feel. I already know how y'all live. The leaders don't know. I look good though. The leaders don't know I'm, I got my own life. They ain't got. They can preach to me and talk to me all they want. I like going to the church. They don't know that I got down. Jesus. You better stop worrying about the leader and worry about him that look don't never go to sleep. Don't you get tired of turning your life around? Get the heaven. In heaven, every time you look around, when you get off the cross, you are alone. And the one that can give you peace, that's the path of all understanding. You walk around, you, he can't help you. That's why you always got to call somebody. I love carrying my life. I don't know. When, when I carry my life, I go anywhere I want to. I, you know, Christ, I ain't got the answer to nobody. I ain't got to do nothing. I just love my life. You know, I just... See, I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. So I carry me. He said, he said but, but Christ lived in me. How you going to do that if he lived in it? It said, the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith. 
That means I don't forsake to everybody. And everybody here said, oh, I got faith. In what? That you ain't on that. Once you got faith in, because I broke faith down. Forsaking all, I trust in him. That's what faith means, that you don't trust in nothing else. My hope is in God. My life is in God. My money is in God. My walk is in God. My talk is in God. My eyes in God. What do I own? But I can take my life back. Because they fool you with the scripture. Can't no man pluck you out. But with a will, you can walk out. Anytime I want to, I can go back being a hoe. Ain't nothing can stop me from being a hoe. Just like ain't nothing can stop y'all from stealing God's money. Can't nothing stop you from lying. See, when you're on the cross, you don't get church late. I'm talking about when you're on the cross. But I ain't ready yet. I ain't ready yet. I'm, I'm going to lean right here on uh, that stock. That's all right if I lean right there. Huh? I just want to lean right there. You know what he said? He said, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Who is that? That sounds like Jesus to me. That don't sound like your mama. That don't sound like your daddy. Because my mama blood and daddy blood couldn't do nothing. It make me go to hell quicker. It couldn't, it couldn't purify nothing. Where y'all think they get Mr. Clean from? Huh? Gatorade, the thirst quench. Brill cream, one dab will do it. All that point to cry. One dab of him will do it. Well, a man can be all night with you and he can come touch you one time. You say, Lord, baby, put, get your hand on me. We can't do it. <laughs> well, I don't met a man. They got it in the book. When you be in touch, you know the woman that was at the well that they have comforts off of. Women comfort. That she got touched by the man. You ain't got to have no women coming there. You should have some men there too. Amen. Y'all laughing, but y'all ain't up here. You're joking because I'm saying some stuff that sound right, but you ain't on here. The cross is empty right now because you ain't there. All y'all can look serious. But you know you ain't on him. This mess ain't for no one person. Huh? This mess is for the whole church. Because we take down when we want to. We take down with family members. We take down with husband and wife. We take down. And we know the word said they shouldn't be doing that. But we get off the cross because I don't want her to be mad with me. Oh Trina just got to be mad with me the rest of her life. I'm not letting her err off the cross. But y'all husband with your little nasty self got to forget about you wear the pants because she wear them too. You know, I ain't, ain't no mean clap off that then, huh? You know, because that's what y'all try to be. Y'all are controlling because y'all think y'all a man. The barber said, in other words, the husband, she both should be in fear of God. So if she fear God, you fear God, you ought to live by it too. You ought not to put the structure just on her to be on the cross. And then when she tell you something, you're going to say, you forgot I'm the priest? She ought to tell you act like it. Since you want to you want to go in it, act like you the priest. He said, I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself, himself for me. Ain't nobody else do it but him. My mom and daddy couldn't do it. Until your life must cross Christ's life. You must carry your cross. We're in a dead end road. I do not frustrate the grace of God. That was it. Oh, we under grace. You can do whatever you want to. You know, grace gives a license to sin. Child, I'm up under grace. No, you're up under mercy, fool. You don't got off the cross. 
You trying to use God as that. He said, should we continue in sin that grace abound? It said, God forbid. So you tell me how you on the grave when he says, should we continue in sin that grace abound? He's telling you that grace don't give you a license to continue in sin. You frustrating the grace of God. Only because I love me. How many of us in this part? He tell you no good thing dwell in the flesh, and we live in it until we get a glorified body. And when you know when you get off the cross, anything goes. Let me kick stand it right here. So it can keep me up. The flesh is very controlling. It makes you want stuff when you ain't even thinking about it. That's why they put all the perverse stuff on the TV. Because it draws you away from God. You be minding your own business. He come a fine joker on TV with a sick pack. And you say, look at that. Oh, y'all know how men do. They have so many panties commercial now. Y'all ain't like that. He said, but as many as received him, to them he gave power to become sons of God. Don't y'all know that some? As many as received him to, to get on the cross, he gave us power to be sons of God. But if you ain't, you ain't received him, you ain't no son. And not everybody go to church as a son. But I don't find that to be true. What you mean, Apostle Summer? I mean we playing with God. That's what I mean. Oh, foolish Galatia, who bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? Who fooled us that we can do anything we want to do? He said, before whom I, Jesus Christ, had been evidently set before us, crucified among us, among you. He said, what makes us think that? He said, this only would I learn of you, receiving ye the spirit by the work of the law, or by the hearing of the faith. You see what I'm saying? Law can't get you nothing. It's faith, y'all. And we still trying to go after something that ain't even God. He said, are you so foolish? Haven't begun? Huh? How you so foolish that you begun on the cross, that you begun in the spirit, and now made perfect in your flesh? I don't play like that. Are you so foolish? Knowing the Bible is one thing. Knowing the author is another. Knowing the Bible is one thing. But knowing Jesus is another. This is what he said in Hebrews 12 and 1. He said, well, for sin, we have also compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. Lay aside every way. He said, lay aside every way and sin, which do easily beset us and let us run with patience. The race that is set before. The race that is set before. Let us run with patience. Don't get, I'm so tired of hearing church people. Child, every time I turn around, ain't nothing going right for me. Run with patience. You already got the victory. You know one thing. Have y'all ever went to a game that already set up? It already fixed? Oh, yeah. I, heard, I heard somebody talking this morning, and they were talking about the referee is with God. The coaches. Everybody with God. The scorekeeper with God. Huh? Yeah. The bookkeeper with God. The other team with God. How you gonna lose that game? Everybody with God. That's where I am. I'm just going through this game, running with patience, knowing that I, I, all I gotta do is keep going. I got the victory. I ain't gonna take my eyes off Jesus. I ain't getting out of the cross. I'm gonna just keep going with my little Mary self. I'm minding my own business. I know gays over here. I know crooks over here. I know everything. I'm just going to keep my eyes on Jesus. Because when you take your eyes off and start looking at stuff, the enemy got you. He got you. And that's what our problem is. We compare our church with every other church. Let me help y'all some. Church can't even have a 6 o'clock service now because they can't get the people to come. We've been having six o'clock church since I've been here. They remember almost here. Amen. Most churches can't have prayer. Why? Because the people don't want to come to prayer. They ain't on the cross. We have prayer Friday night, five o'clock prayer 
on, on Saturday morning, and remember him, that one, that's one oversleep or something. <laughs> or the one that, you know, I ain't gonna look around. But anyway, but we him. That's the power of God. That's being on the cross. Because you are not your own no more. We bought with a price. It's said, let the redeemer of the Lord say so. But everybody tell you our church ain't right because we ain't having all these programs trying to raise money. The church should operate off tithes and offering. We ain't got to, ain't got to have no raccoon program, no or quiet program, no, no possum program, no co-pastor program, all that program. Now just tell us y'all just want to give y'all some money. Because we ain't trying to get nobody saved. He said, look, he said, lay aside every weight and sin that which do easily beset us. It throw us off track. And let us run with patience. The race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. Y'all hear that? It said, looking unto Jesus. Which is the author and the finish of our faith. In other words, he already wrote the script for us. All we got to do is keep going because he already know the ending. Any author write a book know what the closing is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But when you don't stay on the cross, it's another script wrote. It's in him. He wrote the book. If you stay on the cross, you'll finish right. But if you get off the cross, it's another script wrote for you too now. Because everybody ain't going to heaven. I know they said that. I know they said that, but I promise you ain't. He said, <laughs> it ain't looking too good on now. He said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finish of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame for you. He despised the shame for me 2015 years ago. He despised the shame when it should have been me. He said, no, God, don't let Terry go to the cross. I'll do it for him. This was already fixed. And then you tell me I can't stay on the cross when he took the sin for me, the penalty for me. It's just like me getting a life sentence. And he said, no, Judd. Put me in life for Terry. Y'all don't love him that much. Y'all don't love him that much. I hear y'all saying, thank you, Jesus, and thank you. Get on the cross. Stop talking about, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Get on the cross. That's how I know you, you, you thanking him. He endured the cross for us, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God for me, making intercession for me. Huh? He's telling me, Terry, you the man. That's what he said. Terry, you is the man. Look at Hebrews 9 and 14. He said, how much more shall the blood of Christ, whom through the eternal spirit of offer himself without spot to God, purge your conscience. Yeah, God. He said, purge your conscience from dead words. I told you. It's dead work. You can't, do, you can't do this thing with God doing no dead work. He ain't going to let you do it. Huh? He said, in dead words. Huh? Y'all got that? He said, to serve the living God. And for this call, he is the mediator of the New Testament. Y'all see that? He's the mediator. He's in between us and God. Anybody on the cross? Anybody that want to get on the cross and say, God, I've been getting down, but I ain't getting down no more. I've been getting down, but I know my victory is staying on now. I know some of y'all going to go leave right here and go do your do. Look what it said in Colossians 1 and 14. It says, who we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. He said, we have that. But I just love it. He said, and for this call, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death. He the mediator, because unless the testament die, it have no strength. Jesus had to die to have the power to do what he is, to write the New Testament. This is what he said. It's in the book. He said, for the redemption of the transgressor that was under the first testament, that which a call might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also, of the necessity, 
be the death of the tester. He had to die in order to do what he did. He said, for the testament is a force after a man are dead. Otherwise, if it is no strength at all while the testament live, there's no strength if Christ would have lived. If the enemy would have knew, they never would have lifted him up off the ground. He said, because in the scripture, he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. So if you ain't on the cross, he said, all men now. He been lifted up. He said, if he be lifted up, he'll draw all men. They come put this on him. He said, if he be lifted up, I'll draw all men. So any man that ain't on the cross, it's because you don't want to be. Amen. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men. This is what Romans 5, 8, and 9 said. But God commanded his love toward us in that while we was yet sinner, Christ died for us. While we was yet sinner, while I was in the bunny club dropping it, while I was running around being a hoe, doing everything I want to do, running behind basketball, running behind this, running behind that, lying, cussing, doing whatever I want to do, Christ yet has died for me. And you tell me now that they said the only way a man can come to God, he must first draw him, and God don't draw me to him, and you tell me I ain't going to get on the cross? You tell me I'm going to keep on wanting mercy when I can be up under grace? You tell me that what I'm going to do? I ain't going to play with him like that. Y'all ain't going to play with him like that, is it? He said, while I was yet a sinner, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. The victory is through him. I got to stay on the cross. All y'all ain't on the cross, baby, get on the cross. Don't stay separated from Christ coming to church. It's not enough to come to church. That's what they keep telling you. You got to cross, get yourself on the cross. Deny yourself. That's why he had to die. That's why he said, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass. Because it's hard <laughs> giving this life up. This is what he said. Just show you the power, your healing, all the things that you need. In Isaiah 53 and 5, he was prophesied of. He said, but he was wounded for our transgression. That's what it was. He was wounded, the cross. He was wounded for our transgression. Huh? He was bruised for our iniquity. He was bruised. And we don't want to carry our cross. We want to still do what we want to in spite of. He was bruised for our nigga, and the chest talent of his peace was upon him. And we wonder why we ain't got peace. And by his stripe, and with his stripe, we are here. He come down to 1 John 5, 11, and this is the recording that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son. And I'm trying to get life somewhere else. Your life must cross his life. John 10 and 27 and 28, it said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Uh-oh. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Not any man. God tells us in the scripture because all the book is summed up to the cross. The prophecy that they talked about in the old was dealing with this. Ephesians 1 and 7 says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. It's in the book. But what are we going to do? He said in, the, in Hebrew 9 and 16, for where a testament is, there must also the necessity be the death of the testament. For the test, for the, a testament is a force after a man die, die. Otherwise, it has no strength all while the testament live. Church, God is trying to find out what you're going to do. And we're going to keep getting down. We're going to keep getting up for mama and daddy and sisters and brothers. 
Because God wants us to be for him. God trying to tell us something. And it ain't getting in your, I need a prayer partner. No, you need God to be your partner. You don't need no intercessor. Pray for yourself. Because if you ain't living right, an intercessor can't help you. This is what he said in Matthew 10 and 32. He said, whosoever therefore shall confess me before man, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men. You know, you get down off the cross and you don't want nobody to know you say. You know how some of them do? We go around our family, our old friend, and you don't say nothing about Jesus. They talk about everything, who you used to be, and you don't really want them to know you say. So you ease down off the cross slow. Get them off that slow deep. Don't take them off that fast. They, they don't want you to know that you're getting off. You start summing up with them. And then what he said? He said, which is, huh, before the Father, which is in heaven. He said, but whosoever deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Think not that I come to send peace on the earth. He said, I ain't come to send no peace. All this stuff going on, it's supposed to happen. But we got to stay on the cross. We got to do what God said to do. Look what he said. He said, I came not to send peace, but a sword. I came to cause some confliction. Huh? Yeah. He, said, I, he said, for I am come to set. Y'all hear that? Against the children. Against his mama, against his dad. He said, I come to separate. When you get on the cross, people walk away from you. My family cut me off. I used to get invited to everything. The first one invited. I don't even know what they have. I seen some of my nephew right now, I wouldn't even know what they are. But I used to be the favor. But this thing, when you come clean and raw it for God and get on that cross, they cut you off. My friends don't call until they want prayer. Now they find my number. Or they'll come to the corner when they want you to call on Jesus. Because they know they can't touch it. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. I know how it is. He said against his father and against his daughter, against his mother, against his daughter-in-law, against his mother-in-law. He said, that's what I did. He said, I came to cause some friction. Huh? Y'all think the Sadducee and Pharisee liked it, Jesus? Let me have this. Y'all life is trying to get bored with this. I see y'all. This is not important to y'all because this tells you just where y'all at. And y'all going to keep on walking around with this? A lot of y'all going to die with your own life in y'all hand. Because I see y'all. I see how y'all looking. Y'all ready for me? See, I, see, y'all used to me just coming here and preaching hell about you. But this is just telling you about your errand. This is telling you about the life. I ain't talking about your sin. I'm talking about you ain't on the cross. I'm talking about you ain't making no sacrifice. You ain't present your body. Because why? I love me. And a lot of y'all got that look like I do love me. And I ain't finna stop. But let me tell you, I ain't trying to stop you. I'm trying to keep over tear. Y'all ain't got y'all ain't got y'all ain't got to do nothing. Then what said? He said in, in, in the 37 verse, he said, He that love father, mother more than me is not worthy of me. He that loves son and daughter more than me is not worthy of me. He that take it not his cross and follow me, follow after me, is not worthy of me. He that finds his life shall lose it. He that loses his life. For my sake, she'll find it. He said, I ain't worried about y'all. Y'all on your own self. That's what I love about God. He's trying to tell us to die to ourself. And we sit up here, God speaking, and we want somebody to say, Shadrach? Y'all want to hear something? Keyboard player, somebody, drama, get up. Because y'all to rise up on that. Because you know why? The flesh, the body, the mindset, we love music. That's why so many people got rap in the church now. Why you think they got rap in the church? Because y'all still know the boom, ch 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 boom, ch 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 So you see? 
Y'all know how it go. You ain't heard, you don't want to hear no word, but boom, chick. You know, we gone. Your mind gone. Y'all know it. And then we do the pray dance. Them little nasty little girls up there swinging around. Y'all know they ain't saved. Tell me I pray dance. No, 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 baby. Get saved. Because when you get a dance from God, you don't have to practice. And then they find a song that you like. Y'all, we don't be looking at no pray dancing. We be listening to that song. Huh? Y'all. Listen. Break every chain, break every chain. And you sitting there saying, break every chain. You know you got a lot of chain that need to be broke. You ain't paying no chain, no pray there. You said, break every chain, break every chain. Help me, Lord, break them, break them, break them. You ain't paying no chain no people that day. You like that song. Why y'all think when people go to the funeral, they cry? You ain't crying about that person dead. You thinking me, I might be next. Luke the ninth chapter. I'm, I'm getting y'all out of here. Luke the ninth chapter. This is what God is telling us. He said, deny himself. We must live a life of self-denial. He said, in, the, in Luke 9 and 23, he said, and he said unto them all. He said to some people in the church now. Y'all want to touch y'all neighbor all that? To all? He said, if any man will come after me, let him deny who? Let him deny who? Himself. Let him deny who? Himself. And take up his cross. Amen. The sun. Wednesday. Amen. When you go to work. Amen. When you go to the bathroom. Amen. When you creep. Amen. He says, stay on the cross daily. Deny yourself. Because you all know why? This thing called for some stuff. If I were to get away from the world and get away from around people that's talking about the word, the flesh started calling for stuff. They said deep call on the deep, flesh call on the flesh. Well, I'm going iron sharp and iron. How you going to sharp an iron when somebody ain't got a Bible? All right, all right. Don't even go to church. Tell me iron sharp and iron. He want to have Bible study. Y'all know that's a booty call, man. He don't even go to church and talk about he wants you to come and study with him. Man, that's the oldest trick it was. Well, I know now I'll be a pimp in the church. I wouldn't even go to a club. I'll give me a Bible by five suit. I'll run a revival at every church it is. Because a lot of silly women's in church. <laughs> they see you in a Bible and see you got a nice suit. You better not have no good razor line. Ooh, shout out, amen. Then you think they talking about amen? The people they talking about amen in here, and they already don't start telling sisters. So saying, "You for me, baby? Don't." Do. <laughs> y'all know, no, I like y'all don't do it now, cause I, you know, I tell them cornerstone. Cause when night, when night looking women come in the church, we on fellowship. The women got silent. <laughs> y'all ain't said that. Y'all ain't said that. Y'all ain't said no, Pastor. And don't let no brother come here thick. Like he just got out of jail swole. <laughs> let me just do it. Let me just do it how it is. God, that what? Ooh, you close. <laughs> Ain't hugged your wife since she been in church. I know you hug your wife. But you see that brother? I mean, we do that in church. We do it in him. We put handcuffs on. I know y'all want me to get away from that. I'm going to move on. <laughs> I'm going to move on. But Jesus... Knew his assignment, y'all. And in St. John, the 19, chapter 20, verse, he said, This Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished. He realized that all things was accomplished. 
that the scripture might be fulfilled said I thirst y'all hear that the pastor said I was on that on that jew I thirst huh now there was set a vessel full of vinegar and they felt the sponge of vinegar and put it upon his son and put it to his mouth when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar he said it is finished in other words he said what else y'all want me to do he said what else y'all want me to do I did this 2015 come put it back up in D Christ all I need you to do is get up here the work is finished and you can't you can't say sin because you know what he said Sin after I died have no dominion over you no more. Sin can't make you do nothing. Stop using Adam. Stop using Eve. If Adam and Eve wouldn't have did it, what? I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Well, the last Adam, if you read your book, came back and gave a dominion. And for that cause, I got the victory. Because he said, Father, it is finish what you sent me to do I have completed it no man can make no excuse why they can't live for you it is finished and when you stand before him you won't be able to justify I didn't know you won't be able to justify why I ain't living right because he said father it is finished. In 1 John 1, 1 and 2, he said, that which was formed, huh? That was from the beginning, which we heard, which we have seen with our eye, which we have looked upon, which we have handled with our handled the word of life. He said, for the life was manifested, and we have seen it. And bear witness and shown unto us that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. It is finished. What's going to be our problem? What's going to be our answer when we stand for God at the appointed day of judgment? Will you stand before the German seat of Christ? Or will you stand for the white throne of judgment before God? He come back in Romans 5, Romans 6, 5 and 6. It's a, for if we be implanted together in the likeness of his death on the cross. If we be planted in the likeness huh, of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. In other words, when he got up, I'm going to get up. But if you're off the cross, you might get up. But what goes up must come down. He might wake you up only to send you to your place of destiny for eternity. And that name is hell. You can call it Haiti. You can call it uh, the club. You can call it the church. You can call it whatever you want to, whatever you want to name it. But you're going to have your own worms eating on you. And you're going to be conscious of everything. This message might come back to you. He said, be also in the likeness of the resurrection, knowing this, that the old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. That we should not serve sin. In other words, when he said, Father, it is finished, he said, look, mission accomplished. What you going to tell him? God, they gave me a hard time. He said, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish, foolish. But unto us are saved. It is the power of God. For it is written, 
I will describe the wisdom of the wise and will bring the nothing, the understanding of the prudent. He said, I do it. Because the fullness of God is wiser than man, and the weakness is, of God is stronger than man. What are we going to do? Who's willing to take the cross? Who's willing to say, God, I'm going to die to myself? Huh? Who? He said, look not every man on his own thing, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you. In other words, we should have the mind of Christ. In other words, we should be willing to die. If I didn't know nothing, I think y'all were from Saudi Arabia, and it's the first time y'all been in church. Because y'all looking like I'm talking another language. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is, if we get down, if we get down off the cross, if we carry in our own self to say, I got me, it's a bad thing. Lord, forgive me for getting down. Lord, forgive me for not being to you how I should be to you. Lord, even in my thought pattern, Lord, forgive me. I want to be in eternity with you. I want to be able to talk with you. I want to be able to, to know that I'm, if, I happen, if something happened to me today, I'm in your presence. Yeah. If you can stay on the cross, God, I'm willing to be that partner with you. Yeah. I won't come down, not again. I'm going to stay where I need to be. Because what else you got to do? In Colossians 2, 14 and 15, he said, Blotting out the handwriting of the ordinance that was against us, which was contrary to us. He said, took it out of the way, nailing it to the, his cross, and having sparred principality and power, he made a show of them, openly, triumphing over them. Remember me, Lord. Remember me for all the time that I got down off your cross. That's what he said. He said, let that mind be in you. Which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it was not robber to be equal with God, but made himself of no repetition and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. Being found in a fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. He did it for me. He did it for me. And then what God did for him, for realizing that my cross is the victory. And terror, because your life has crossed God's life. I won't do no different with Jesus that I did for you. In the ninth verse, he said, wherefore, God also has highly exalted him. And giving him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven and things on the earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed not as in my presence only but now much more in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and trembling you can't do it for mama you can't do it for daddy you can't do it for sister he said work out your own salvation with fear and tremble because the fear of God is knowledge the fear of God is wisdom. But in all you're getting, get an understanding. Don't come down no more. Stay close to him. 
He didn't even put a screw in there because he wants you to have access to stay up or to get down. But your life must cross Christ's life. If it stay that way, you have denied yourself. The thing that you like, the thing that you want. And he said, for that cause, enter into my rest. Enter in.